hey guys welcome back to my channel i haven't been on here in a long time but you know right now let me tell you what's been going on so i started school again the cafe has opened and yeah i've just been busy but this week i'm actually taking a break from social media because i feel like it's been consuming my life and i haven't had time to do what i actually like to do so now um i was like you know what i've been wanting to film a youtube video because for me I like to save money okay and I like to make sure that I look cute on a budget and you know that's just me if you haven't seen my affordable purse collection go watch that this will give you a good idea of who I am today I'm here to share with you my affordable fragrance collection now I've been building this collection for um I want to say only about two months because I recently just you know came upon that I like fragrances so I have had the same maybe four fragrances for a while and then I was like you know what let me try to get more fragrances I have learned that it does go along with your mood or the weather for that day so I've been more into them and getting them affordable and yeah so that's what we're gonna do I have about mm, I'm gonna say 14 perfumes 15 to show you so let's hop right into it so how I'm going to format this video, I'm going to tell you guys um, the perfume name. I'm going to read from Fragrantica, the main accords, and then I'm just going to tell you how I feel about the perfume because for me, I learned that the accords, yeah, that's the technical side, but also you want to know, like, if you don't know the accords, you want to be able to know what it smells like. How does somebody else describe this fragrance to be? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, also, my air is on okay like i said before in a video i think back in june now it's august it's august in oklahoma so it's hot and i need the air so let's just jump right into it so the first fragrance that i have to show you is jessica simpson's fancy this perfume is in the 3.4 ounce um the bottle is really cute to me i really like it and now I'm gonna read the accords. As I said, I'm reading for Fragrantica, so I am looking over on my computer. So the main accords for Jessica Simpson's Fancy are sweet, fruity, caramel, vanilla, and balsamic. And to me, this perfume, you can really wear a perfume any time of the year, but this perfume for me is more of a fall perfume because for me, I'm more into more fresh and clean scents more fruity scents on a regular basis and the sweeter perfumes in the fall so this perfume here it is very caramely it's very very caramely very very sweet so like i said this is why we're in the fall this perfume on me i sprayed it on yesterday before work at 10 and it lasted until about eight o'clock at night so you have almost 12 hours of performance um after the first maybe six hours it does wear into more of a skin scent so just be aware of that what a skin scent is it means that you actually have to put your nose to your skin to be able to smell it but yeah so this is jessica simpson's fancy carrying on with jessica simpson's fragrance line i do have a flanker for fancy this is fancy love i bought this from ross for about i think ten dollars this to me is a scent that i would wear every day this is more like hmm to explain this fragrance to me it's like you're going to brunch and you have that sizzly champagne that fizzy like it's like when you smell this perfume you can smell the fizz in it it has peach and it has champagne the main accords for this perfume is floral citrus amber aldehyde and musky um i do get the florals in here they're very prominent but it's not like an old lady floral i feel like floral kind of gets a bad name because whenever you think of floral you think of a strong mature woman just walking past you when that's really not the case at all but this perfume i love it it does not last that long it's very very light this is a light and airy scent so if you really want someone to smell you whenever you walk by with this you have to kind of go overboard on the sprays maybe about eight to ten sprays this perfume does last for a long time though but like i said it is airy it turns into a skin set very fast um but yeah this is jessica simpson's fancy love so now we're on to another celebrity. This is Sophia by Sophia Vergara. 
now when i first got this fragrance i didn't know how to feel about it because like i said i don't really lean towards the sweeter perfumes more towards the florally but this one more like a fruity floral this perfume here this is a 3.4 ounce and i got this for 19.99 at ross let me tell y'all this is my scent of the day today i love this fragrance okay this fragrance can last all day and it's going to project all day you're going to get about eight hours from this and you're going to get the projection that's out of this world like you when you walk by somebody they're going to smell this okay so the main accords are fruity woody sweet powdery and floral um fruity is obviously something that i like and floral is something that i really like and this has colombian rose in it which is a little different than regular rose this perfume right here y'all mm, i just love it the kind of cute girly scent very for a mature woman i would feel like um this is not for someone who is maybe teenage this is for somebody whenever you want to be cute about 22 and up 22 to 40 i think this will be a great perfume for you all right now continuing on with sofia vergara i actually just got this in the mail yesterday this is love by sofia vergara i did get the one ounce in this because whenever i was on youtube doing the um research on if i should get it or not a lot of people were saying that they didn't like it that it was too sweet and i'm just like okay well you know i don't really like sweet perfume so let me get a one ounce test it out y'all this right here is bomb okay now let me tell you the main accords in this it's sweet floral vanilla coffee fruity and powdery i don't really get the coffee note in here at all i do get the fruity notes and i do kind of get the powdery a little bit but it's not a super duper duper sweet perfume to where it's like you can't wear it i think a note in here at the the base note i think one is praline yes one is praline and one is vanilla so whenever this wears down you do get a nice skin scent with this i haven't got to wear do a wear test on this i should have put this one on today but whenever i do get a wear test on this i will update the description box and let you guys know how it goes the next fragrance that i have for you is angel muse by terry mugler now this one y'all this one right here is like I don't even know how to explain it i don't know why i like this one so much now before y'all try to get me i know that mugler fragrances can be very very expensive but i'll tell you if you go to ebay and you get the right buyer you can get these at great prices i got this in a 1.7 ounce a lot of people describe this as a perfume that smells more like um nutella but to me this smells like a chocolate powder it's not as sweet as nutella and it's not as sweet as people were describing it to be to me so the notes on this is woody patchouli earthy warm spicy and aromatic i can definitely get the warm spicy especially at the opening when you first spray it and then it dries down into that nice chocolate scent mm, it just smells so good for me, honestly, whenever I spray my fragrances, I like to spray them on my clothing because I don't really like the idea of having chemicals on my skin. I know that's kind of weird, but I did try this on my skin once. For this one, it pulled more of the vetiver, but whenever I actually sprayed it on my clothes, it pulled the nice chocolate hazelnut, and mm, it was just so good. This will be perfect for the fall time because it's a little bit too heavy for the summer and for the warmer months and this right here you're going to get projection out of this world okay you're going to get the sillage whenever you walk into a room somebody's going to smell you okay and then the longevity this is like i went to work and i worked the whole day came back took a shower went to sleep woke up the next morning and i still smelt it that's whenever i tested this on my skin i still smelt it on my skin after i worked after i took a shower and after i went to sleep so you tell me this is angel muse by terry mugler so the next one i actually have is a perfume by laura mercier this is laura mercier's ambre vanille now this is an eau de toilette i don't know if i mentioned but all the other perfumes that i mentioned are Uda perfumes and y'all this right here is like a snickerdoodle cookie 
okay this is a snickerdoodle cookie and for eau de toilette i didn't think that the longevity would be good on this but this has bomb longevity i actually got this later on in the day so i tested it whenever i went to sleep and i woke up the next morning went to work came back and i was still smelling this in my bed i'm like what is that like what does that smell and i realized that it actually was on my sheets from the night before from me spraying it so this has very 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 long longevity for a eau de toilette the main accords for this fragrance are floral sweet almond powdery and coconut i do not get any of the coconut um i do get the powdery and as for the floral I don't think I get any floral notes either. For me, like I said, this is like a snickerdoodle cookie, a cinnamon roll. I don't know what it is. It's the amber in here that you can really smell that gives off that spicy um, element. If y'all don't have any of this, go pick you up some. I bought this for $14 at Ross. Y'all, if y'all want to smell like a snickerdoodle cookie in the fall, then I suggest you pick up Laura Mercier's Ambre Vanille. All right, so the next fragrance that I have is actually a fragrance that is widely talked about among the YouTube community and the fragrance community. That is Rebel Fleur by Rihanna. Now I got this in a 3.4 ounce. I got this off of Fragrance X for $20. Y'all, hold on, let me look up the notes for this because I gotta let y'all know about this one. I gotta put y'all on game. This one right here, is your mature woman coconut not a coconut milk but a coconut water and whenever this wears down it's going to turn into a nice vanilla skin scent this also has tuberose in it so if you don't like tuberose as a note then this might not be the fragrance for you but it's done so well that you i don't know it's just something about this fragrance is so good the longevity on this you're gonna get eight plus hours the sillage on this is enormous okay whenever i wore this my mama was like who sprayed on perfume like that and i literally only did two sprays from this okay so the main accords for this one are fruity sweet vanilla coconut and powdery i do get that coconut um a lot it's very prominent and i do get that powdery the vanilla um the sweetness it goes more in with the vanilla um at the end and you do get the fruity notes from this this is a tester bottle that i got um from fragrance s so it does not have the cap but it whenever you get the testers they do come fully loaded so nothing is used no product is used you just sometimes don't have the cap with it so this is rebel fleur by rihanna the next fragrance that i have is by versace don't kill me okay i know that Versace doesn't seem very affordable, but once again, I got this from Fragrance X. I got the 1.7 ounce. This is Versace's Dylan Blue. I got this for $50, y'all. So, pretty affordable. Fragrance X, free shipping, came in about two days. It was here very fast. Now, this fragrance right here, when you first smell it, it opens up into a crisp granny apple. And then after that, it goes into this nice almost like fresh well not almost it is a fresh out of the shower scent this right here is like when you want to smell fresh and bright on your summer days you do not want to wear this in the fall this could be done in the spring and summer only i believe the main of course of this one are fruity floral green rose and fresh that fresh does come in with this fragrance a lot and this one right here you're gonna get two sprays and that's all you need because you don't want to choke anybody with this this perfume right here is a heavy hitter you're gonna get some sillage that's crazy you're gonna get projection that's crazy you're gonna get longevity that's eight plus hours i would say 10 plus hours this is really one of my favorites i believe um if you like fresh fruity scents then this is the one for you once again this is versace's dylan blue so the next fragrance that I have for you is actually from Victoria's Secret. This is Heavenly Summer. Um, this fragrance right here is in a 1.7 ounce. The main accords for this fragrance are floral, fresh, woody, rose, and coconut. I do get the rose and I do get the floral. Besides that, I don't get the woody. I don't get the... I don't get... Well, I, I guess I could get fresh from this, but this right here is like your citrus bomb okay this is what you want to wear in the summer like the name says heavenly summer on this one you're gonna get two sprays maximum i would say 
that's all you really need because this is a really really strong fragrance I didn't think that Victoria's Secret had it in them but this is a strong fragrance and you're gonna get about I would say six plus hours with this fragrance here once again this is Victoria's Secret's Heavenly Summer all right so the last three fragrances that I have to show you are also by Victoria's Secret the first one is Victoria's Secret's Tease Rebel now this fragrance is very unique okay this is floral and leather I didn't think that I would really like leather in a scent as a note but y'all this right here is so good this is so fresh the accords for this one are fresh leather and florals this right here y'all oh my goodness this right here baby this right here y'all if y'all can get y'all's hands on this this was i got this whenever it was the semi-annual sale actually all of the victoria's secret perfumes i got were from the semi-annual sale so they were 14.99 um one ounces 1.7 ounces so this right here is also another one you need about two sprays maximum and you're gonna get projection that's crazy you're gonna get longevity that's eight plus hours once again this is victoria's secrets tease rebel the next one is victoria's secrets bombshell holiday now with this one you are going to get about i would only say about four hours from this um i have used quite a bit of it you can't really tell but i can tell whenever i'm looking into it through the light um this is perfect for your winter scents this is your frosted cranberry scent that you would have um on a nice winter day the main accords for this one are woody fresh white floral leather smoky and fruity and i actually did not know that this had leather as a note but it explains why i would like it it's also fresh and fruity um this one has like i said the cranberry the frosted cranberry so this is like the name says holiday you want to wear this around the holidays whenever it's cold outside because this right here is like put on your scarf put on your coat and let's go okay this is victoria's secrets bombshell holiday the last fragrance that i have to show you today is victoria's secrets bombshell summer y'all this is what started my fragrance journey okay this is literally why i fell in love with fragrances this perfume right here the main accords for this one are citrus floral fruity fresh spicy and aromatic this one when it opens it's like a fizzy grapefruit like i don't know what it is about this fragrance y'all and i'm trying to hold on to it and i don't know if y'all can see like i've used more than half the bottle and i'm really trying to hold on to it because it won't come out again until the next summer um and it probably won't be the same edition either they're probably going to add something to it but this one is so good y'all this one you're going to get um some good projection you're going to get re really really good projection but the longevity on this one i wouldn't say is that great i would say you get about four hours and then after that it's more of a skin scent but this one right here I just couldn't pass it up like the ooh, mm, 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 mm. it's so good it's so good so this is Victoria's Secrets bombshell summer all right so I have one more fragrance that I want to talk about I actually don't have it in my collection right now because it has been at the post office since the first of August you know that they're slowing down the USPS shipping so I'm just patiently waiting but it is rihanna's rebel i'm gonna pop up a picture either on this side or this side um it is the same as the same bottle as rebel fleur it's a flanker um this one the main accords for this one are warm spicy cacao coffee sweet and fruity and i really can't say anything about the projection or the sillage on this the longevity because obviously i don't have it i mainly got it because of the coffee note we'll see where the coffee note goes and i know that it has ginger in it and i'm like i really want to make sure that whenever fall rolls around that i have really really good fragrances for fall so i really feel like that ginger is gonna be something that i really like so yeah i can't wait to get into my collection whenever i actually get it in my collection i'll update the description box on this video to let you guys know all about it and how i feel 
and guys that is the end of my collection i am trying to hold off on buying fragrances for a while because i just been going so crazy now that i have a newfound love for them so we'll see how that goes but if i do get good feedback on this video then i will do an updated fragrance collection or just new fragrances that i have in my collection because i know that i say i don't want to buy any but there's going to be some more that end up in my collection in the future so if you guys want to see that go ahead and thumbs this video up for the future because i already know and as always thank you guys for watching go ahead and like this video subscribe comment down below what you guys want to see any affordable collections that you guys want to see i do have a collection of sunglasses that i want to share with you guys and once again they're affordable so let me know as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out